Greetings and welcome to the My Xbox and Me review of Celeste. A 2D platformer that puts players in the role of Madeline, a young woman who is on a personal quest to climb the dangerous Celeste mountain. This is no ordinary mountain, however, as Madeline pushes further and further towards the summit, she needs to battle not only the brutal climb, but her own inner demons as well. While I was prepared for this game to be a solid platformer, given that Matt makes games, previous game Towerful is one of my favourites of all time, I wasn't quite prepared for the emotional journey that Celeste took me on. In Celeste you play as Madeline, who is absolutely determined to take on the near impossible task of reaching the summit of Celeste Mountain, despite the danger and difficulty that lies ahead of her. What follows is a journey of self-discovery, as Celeste explores themes of depression and anxiety in a meaningful and profound way. It's an incredibly relevant story about modern life, the pressures and stresses, how overwhelming they can be, and the coping mechanisms we construct to deal with them. All of Madeline's anxieties are made real by the mountain in the form of an alternate version of the protagonist who serves as the primary antagonist of the game. Called part of me throughout the game, she's not a villain for the sake of it. Part of me isn't trying to stop Madeline from climbing Celeste Mountain out of some obligation to be evil, but rather she's trying to save Madeline from herself, believing that attempting to reach the summit will kill her. This antagonistic relationship forms the core of Celeste's story, progressing and evolving into something truly wonderful by the time you hit the emotional, low-key ending. Madeline and her alter ego are fantastically relatable characters with recognisable issues. It's so easy to see yourself in Madeline as she struggles to make her way up the mountain, beset by the very real personification of her own self-doubt. Other characters you meet on your climb will help Madeline in their own ways, but they're also dealing with their own issues, which have also been made manifest by this mysterious mountain. All of this combines to tell a raw and honest tale that's a lot heavier than I was expecting from this skill-based arcade platformer. The story and character interactions make Celeste an incredibly meaningful game, as well as an especially memorable one. While the story is told through the filter of a mystical mountain and a young woman on an adventure, it's an incredibly down-to-earth and hard-hitting narrative, where two characters stopping to have a candid, natural conversation about how it feels to have depression is every bit as engaging as the hour of challenging platforming that came before it. Celeste Mountain is a beautiful place. While its core story grapples with some dark themes, the mountain itself is one of wonder and awe. The game is made up of a few distinct areas, each with their own themes, and each one looks fantastic. Whether you're looking for a way out of a rundown hotel on the verge of falling apart, or battling across a windswept section of the mountain, there's a lot of beauty to stop and marvel at along the way. Celeste's pixel art style allows the developers to make use of bold and striking colours, giving each section of the game its own identity beyond simply differing locations. One chapter sees the game take place at sunset, for example, giving it a striking mixture of bright colours that makes the levels you explore look exceptionally vibrant. There's also been a great amount of work put into the game's animations. Madeline's movements, as you jump, climb, run and dash across levels, all look fluid, feeding into the exceptional fluidity of the game's excellent controls, which I'll get into in a moment. Smaller touches do a great job of building character, such as the way Madeline's shoulders slump when she's feeling overwhelmed, which is an impressive feat for a pixel art game with limited amounts of detail in its character models. In fact, it's the smaller touches that make Celeste's excellent graphical design stand out. Being able to tell when you're about to run out of stamina by how heavily Madeline is breathing is a nice touch, for example, or Madeline's hair changing colour when you've used your dash, with it changing back again once you've hit the ground. Making these indicators part of Madeline's character design rather than part of a UI or with a charge bar is a great move, allowing you to keep your focus on the character you're controlling at all times. From an audio perspective, Celeste makes the strange decision to have synthesized garbled dialogue rather than rely solely on text boxes or on voice acting. It takes some getting used to for sure, although it thankfully never grates or becomes as infuriating as has been seen in other games that have used a similar mechanic. It does still feel a little overused though, but it won't feel like the game is trying to murder your ears. Luckily the soundtrack more than makes up for the strange dialogue. Celeste's music fits its pixel art style perfectly, making great use of piano sounds to complement whatever's happening on screen at the time. Whether you're patiently exploring the beautiful landscape involved in a frantic chase, having your heartstrings tugged on or more, Celeste has the right song for the occasion. The platforming in Celeste is incredibly tight and responsive. The developers have created an exceptionally compelling platformer here, brilliantly keeping the controls and Madeline's abilities simple and pivoting the level design around them. 
Rather than constantly unlocking new moves, Celeste's levels challenge you to find new and creative ways to utilise the abilities you have for almost the entire game. Madeline's abilities revolve around being able to climb any surface for a short period of time or perform a single dash through the air. That's it. Instead of evolving these abilities or adding new ones, Celeste ups the challenge by adding new ways of traversing its environments or new types of obstacles that you'll need to find your way around. Whether that involves throwing you into windswept areas that decrease your dash distance or making use of orbs that shoot you in different directions, Celeste constantly challenges you with finding new ways to do what you've already been doing the entire game. It makes Celeste an incredibly intuitive game. Within the first hour, you'll have a handle on what you can and can't do. Everything else simply revolves around finding different ways of putting that knowledge to use. This is very much a game of trial and error, figuring out how to successfully navigate each screen and then putting that into practice. One area, for example, might see you have to jump between two walls, dash over a long gap to grab a wall further away, then jump up to hit an orb that will recharge your dash ability, grab the opposite wall, climb up it, and then dash across another gap, navigating a series of deadly goop on the way down. It's more complicated to describe than it actually is when you see it, as you'll be able to look at the majority of screens in Celeste and mentally chart a course within a few seconds. I died hundreds upon hundreds of times testing out different theories or moves while trying to get across all of Celeste's levels, slowly figuring out the correct way to leverage Madeline's abilities to get past whatever obstacles stood in my way. And despite what I thought going into the game, it's not at all frustrating, thanks to the intuitive and responsive controls, the impeccable level design, and the lightning fast and generous checkpoint system. While Celeste is a challenging game, it's one that wants you to succeed. Each time you transition between screens, the game sets up a new checkpoint, meaning you don't need to trudge through vast sections of platforming you've already cleared if you get stuck on one specific part. Levels are split into manageable, bite-sized chunks, which means that no matter how challenging Celeste gets, you'll always feel like you can succeed. And if you can't, Celeste comes with an incredible and highly robust suite of options for tailoring the difficulty to suit the experience you want to have. You can play the game with Assist Mode turned on, which unlocks a series of menu options that allows you to customise the game's difficulty. Rather than simply switch between Hard and Easy Mode, you can change the number of air dashes Madeline can perform, the amount of stamina she has, the speed of the game itself, or even make her invincible. It's a brilliant approach to game difficulty, allowing you to decide how challenging an experience you want out of the game. Whether you want to play through the game with no assists at all, and you can still turn assist mode on just in case but never actually use any assists, or blast through levels like a god, or adjust the game so it's just a little less challenging, there are options for all of that. If you want a greater challenge than the game offers, you can find that here too. Scattered throughout each level are a ton of strawberries for Madeline to collect, which will require you to explore and find hidden paths or areas, or sometimes just take a much more difficult path through the game's various levels. If collecting strawberries doesn't scratch your masochistic itch, there are also cassette tapes you can collect that will unlock much harder versions of Celeste's levels that will challenge even the most skilled, seasoned veterans of the platforming genre. Celeste is a wonderful game both a solid platforming experience and a heartfelt one thanks to a narrative that is as impeccably well designed as the gameplay. The controls are slick and intuitive and each chapter throws up obstacles that require you to think creatively about how to use Madeline's core abilities, allowing you to learn everything you need to know relatively quickly and then challenge that knowledge, as opposed to overcomplicating matters with a roster of unlockable abilities. Add in the excellent narrative that sees Madeline grappling with relatable issues on an emotional adventure up a mysterious and dangerous mountain, and you've got, without a doubt, one of the most compelling games of 2018. Thanks very much for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving us a like, comment, or even subscribing to the channel. And as always, keep it here at my Xbox and me for more reviews, commentary, let's plays, and a weekly podcast. Have a great day, guys.